What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to do a mass upload of roles to a single user or multiple users so that you don't have to do it manually. All of this in Oracle Fusion. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to review the target. That's our user. We're going to review the user.dat file and how it's constructed. We're going to upload the user.zip file. We're going to review the outcome of our upload. We're going to run a process to finalize it. We're going to confirm and validate. So let's get after it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to establish that the user Sally dot girl Sally that girl has no responsibilities or no roles my EBS coming back to me there no roles for Sally that girl so we go in here and you'll see no roles whatsoever notice the person number six five four six we need that number for our import so now we'll go back and this time we'll go over to the actual person, Sally, manage users, and we'll find Sally, that girl, there she is. And again, we'll establish that this user, this person, has no role requests nor roles. All right, so Sally is completely clean, and we're going to import the roles to Sally. Next up, we have to go back into manage the users, user accounts, and I'm going to go into Bob Adams, which is the user I'm using to actually do this. And he needs, Bob needs a specific role, and that role is called Human Capital Management Integration Specialist, as indicated on the screen. So he has to have that assigned to him in order to do that, and you can see I am logged in as Bob Adams. Right. Starting here with my handy fusion role list these are essentially all the key roles by module and in my role list these are all the oracle standard roles and i have say for example accounts payable invoice supervisor and here's the code and what we really need in order to do the upload is the code that corresponds to these so you have accounts payable specialist and that's the code all right so that's just my reference and as I want to add these to a user, I come over to the, the uh, user.dat file, and it must be named user.dat as shown there. And we, we have here metadata, user role, person number, role common name, that's the code, and then add, remove, etc. So we're doing all adds, and all I need to do is put in merge user role the person number as i showed for sally that girl the code and then add and you'll notice that all of these are pipe delimited these are pipes right here and you can you could do multiple person numbers all at the same time this one is just for sally that girl and it's just 6546 and this will load all of these roles to Sally, right? So we can close that, close out of that. Now here's the, the dat file that we just were looking at. And what we need to do is zip it. So we'll grab it and then send to compressed file. And again, it just needs to be named user.zip. Now we'll go ahead and load that up in the apps. All right, let's go load the file. Go over to my client groups, go to data exchange. We're gonna go to import and load data. Okay, let's go over to import file. Let's go find the file that we created. There it is, user.zip. And let's hit submit, hit okay. I'll speed this up a little bit on the refreshes because it takes a little. Just keep an eye on the status. What you're trying to get to here is a green checkbox. Look for the total objects. Look for the load success. Right? All good. We'll exit out of there. Now we'll go over and take a look at the user, Sally. And the idea is to see if there's been any update, which you probably already guessed there's none. 
So we'll open her up and see no roles whatsoever. 6546 user. Now let's go over to Sally's person and its users. And we'll see the status of that. Query up Sally, that girl. Open. And we're going to find that no roles, but under roles in the last 30 days, they're all showing in progress, right? So there's one more step process that we have to run in order to update the record fully. Go to schedule processes. And we're going to start a new one and we're going to do send pending LDAP requests. Hit OK and make it all an A and submit. And now we'll just wait for this to finish. We'll just speed this up. All right, so we're finished. We see here succeeded, everything succeeded. Then we'll go back to the person, Sally. We'll open Sally and we'll notice that the last 30 days section is gone and all of the current roles have been updated. Sally now has all of those roles. Now let's go back to the user, just sort of the standard user, and we'll query up Sally again. Open up Sally, and now all of a sudden Sally again has all of the roles assigned to her. All right, so it's just that two-step process of upload and run the process, and Sally or your user We'll get all those roles. Now let's take a quick look again. Remember it's 6546, the user, the person ID. If you want to change this and you want to run it again, just change the person ID, change the responsibilities, and you are good to go. So that's going to do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it. I really hope you enjoyed your visit today and I will catch you in the next one.